Hello viewers. Welcome to my channel Impressive Facts. In this video, we are going to learn some of the very interesting and impressive facts about the Northern Lights, which is also known as Aurora Borealis. The Northern Lights are very common in Norway, mostly during the winter season. The best place to see this light show in Norway is up in the north. Spotting the Northern Lights is becoming one of the most popular bucket list adventures. Consequently, more travelers are visiting Scandinavian countries in the hope of catching a glimpse of the Aurora Borealis. These lights are visible in the cold nights of high northern or southern latitudes. This natural phenomenon is as fascinating as it is beautiful. Let's talk about how these lights are formed and what's so interesting about it. Time for a small chemistry lesson. The Aurora Borealis is a vivid demonstration of the Earth's magnetic field interacting with charged particles from the Sun. Auroras are centered on the Earth's magnetic poles, visible in a roughly circular region around them. The Sun constantly sends electrically charged particles into space, called the solar wind. A small proportion of these particles or ions will reach our Earth after a journey of 150 million kilometers. When these charged particles enter the atmosphere and collide with oxygen atoms and nitrogen molecules, particles of light are generated. We can observe this as the northern light as we know it. When enough nitrogen molecules and oxygen atoms collide with the charged particles of the solar wind. The northern lights can be seen in different colors. It all depends on whether electrons collide with oxygen or nitrogen and how energetically. Ions are electrically charged particles which consist of electrons and protons. The color of the aurora depends on what kind of electrons encounter which type of atoms. Oxygen in the upper part of the atmosphere can cause green or red light. Red light can form in the lower atmosphere when electrons in collide with nitrogen protons. Blue light is fairly rare and is caused by sunlight hitting the top of the northern lights. The traditional green light is formed by oxygen molecules colliding with ions located about 95 kilometers above the earth. In the northern hemisphere, the auroral zone runs along the northern coast of Siberia Scandinavia, Iceland, the southern tip of Greenland, northern Canada, and Alaska. Auroras are visible south of the zone, but they are less likely to occur the farther away you go. The southern hemisphere auroral zone is mostly over Antarctica or the Southern Ocean. To see the southern lights, or Aurora Australis, you have to go to Tasmania. And there are occasional sightings in southern Argentina or the Falklands, but those are rare. Let's discover some more interesting, unique, and lesser known facts about the nature's spectacular light show. According to ancient mythology, Aurora is the Roman goddess of dawn and Boreas is the Greek term for the north wind, hence the name Aurora Borealis. 
Galileo Galilei, the famous Italian philosopher and astronomer, was the first person to name the northern lights as Aurora Borealis. He defined the aurora as a reflection of sunlight in the atmosphere. He thought of aurora, the goddess of the morning, and Borealis is the Greek word for north and pertains to the best location to view the lights. Auroras can occur at any time. They mostly occur in high altitudes near the poles. This is due to the fact that electrons travel along magnetic field lines and the Earth's magnetic field lines come out and go into the Earth near its poles. In certain areas such as Alaska or Greenland, auroras are visible throughout the year. The International Space Station sits at the same altitude as the Northern Lights meaning astronauts can see the lights from the space. There are also the sudden lights, which offer a similar visual display. These lights have same colors as those in the north, but occur on the south pole. They are called Aurora Australis, and the word Australis comes from the Latin word Australis, which means sudden. The aurora australis are only visible when it's summer on the northern hemisphere, meaning winter on the southern hemisphere. They are nevertheless just as beautiful as the aurora borealis. Earth is not the only planet where aurora occurs. Astronomers have witnessed the lights on Saturn, Mars, Uranus, Neptune, and Jupiter. However, the lights there are slightly different from the Earth's because of the different atmosphere and poles. People have been observing the northern lights as far back as 1619, and there are many different folk tales associated with Aurora. The Inuit Native Americans, Aboriginals, and others believe the lights were spirits of the ancestors playing a game with the walrus skull used as the ball. While according to Finnish folklore, a mystical arctic fox is running in the north and touching the mountains with its fur, causing sparks to fly off into the sky. The Sami children in Norway ran back inside their houses the moment the lights appear because according to their belief the lights were evil spirits. Early documentations of the Aurora Borealis trail back to 30,000 years ago in a French cave where the auroras are represented on cave paintings. Scandinavia is one of the most popular areas for northern light viewing. However, they are also seen in Canada, Scotland, Russia, and Alaska. If you are planning to view the northern lights, take a decent camera. Viewing the northern lights through the camera is the best way to see it. The auroras are relatively dim to the naked eye, and human retinas can limit certain colors. So watching through a long exposure camera setting will provide a higher chance of a better sighting. The northern lights are often accompanied by sounds similar to the clapping of a thunderstorm. Some people actually claim to hear the sounds of auroras. Though the upper atmosphere where the lights occur is too thin to carry sound waves and too far away, some have reportedly heard crackling noises when there is an aurora in the sky. The audio factor 
is the result of the projection of charged particles from the sun, followed by interaction with the magnetic field of the earth. Currently, at least one research detected audible sounds associated with auroras. But recently, more research groups claim to have recorded sounds from the lights. Wasn't it interesting to learn about the unique facts on the nature's very own majestic and spectacular Northern Light Show? What do you think? Please let us know by leaving a comment below in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more interesting and impressive facts.